Facebook where and I feel the need because I honestly, man, I don't I don't know if people understand. I really, really, really care about people. And I know that sound corny, but let me explain what I mean. I really care about people. We got this conservative media that we do. We got so many different things that we do. And, and again, I'm broadcasting live, live from Waukesha. You guys can probably hear everything by the airport. And like I said, I like to be around the people. I like to be outside. I get energy from it. This right here, this is this is the grittiest grassroots podcast, period. This is as real as it gets. So that's why I was personally offended when people were trying to say that I was in somebody's pocket. Because see, when you say that I'm taking marching orders and you say that I'm in somebody somebody I'm in somebody's pocket, that's a direct insult to my integrity and my character. That's an insult to, to, to what I do. All I have is that. And for people to say that about me, it says a lot about you. Because let me tell all you people, you fake-ass grassroots people, or you fake-ass major uh, outlets, if Rebecca Clayfish loses, just for the record, let me explain to you how this works that you didn't think about. If she loses, you lose complete credibility because you have an ulterior motive. You obviously have a job waiting and everybody listening to me going to know exactly who I'm talking about. And I ain't going to say their name. You probably have a job as a writer waiting for Rebecca Clayfish when she if she becomes governor. She's going to hire you. That's why your outlet constantly supports her and downs Tim Michaels. I told you before, I got in this because I thought Tim could possibly be a fraud. I researched him. I didn't see anything fraudulent. So I kept going. The more I researched Rebecca Clayfish, it was like, oh, whatever, John Doe, but she a conservative. She got conservative principles, whatever. When she came after him the way she did, there's a red flag there. And then we, me and Paris went in. Paris already knew stuff. He didn't have to tell me anything. He waited because I've known Paris for a while now at news undone. Dot com. That's our, that's our media site. Paris has known me so long. He knew I he knew I was going to go into it. He knew, he knew where I would go with it. And if I wouldn't have found anything, I wouldn't have said anything. And then you know what? They could have went at each other according to, I don't know. The issues, maybe they could have went at each other over, I don't know, if um, I'm better than you or not, or, 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 or if she really had belief in herself, hey, maybe she would have, you know, said something in regard to, I don't know, policy and how she would implement it better. Because why would a Christian person attack somebody taking a high road when if they're so much better, they could just easily show why they're better and why they have better ideas? Tim Michaels didn't attack Rebecca Clayfish first. She did because she was trying to be a distraction. Because if your ideas are better, it's not going to matter what he does. And then let's just say Tim Michaels came after her with ads first. Then... Yeah, she can retaliate. And then on top of it, when you retaliate, you might want to retaliate with some that's factual. And what's sad about all of that, most of the grassroots, so-called conservative and so-called Republican media outlets were completely complicit. And news undone, and I'll say this again, you can say what you want about me. You could, you could be disrespectful to me. But the thing you can't never say about me is that I'm not real. You can never say that about me. You can never say I'm fake. You can never say I'm doing something. I'm taking marching orders because I'm getting money from a, a candidate. You can't never say that about me. So when you want to try to attack my character, 
and uh, attack my integrity and and, 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 and and my word is a man. When I tell you I jumped in because I just jumped in because they were at dude's head and I didn't understand why, you could take it to the bank. But you know what, though? It's all cool. Because at the end of the day, all of y'all that were complicit with this freaking trying to have this heist of the gubernatorial nomination, y'all all are lost whether she wins or loses. You all look like a joke because you did it for ulterior motives. You know why you did it. And I didn't say like the people were saying that I was taking marching orders and all that. You know why you say I'm not even going to say why you don't like Tim Michaels. Maybe he didn't go on y'all's show. Or maybe he didn't have a conversation with you. Or maybe you didn't meet him. Like I said, I ain't never met dude. I never met Kevin Nicholson. Uh, but I've met Rebecca Clayfish, though. So it is what it is, man. Again, I said I wasn't going to say nothing about none of this because I was trying to let sleeping dogs lie. But for people that know me, that knows where I come from, for real, I'm from the streets. So you're right. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to approach you, and then when I see you at one of these events, the chicken burn or whatever, I'm not mad at you to where it's going to be some street because it's not like that. But I am going to bring it up, and I'm going to say something. God bless.